as you can see, I'll have some hot springs. Hi everyone, I'm Nikki. First of all, I love hot spring. I mean, dipping myself in the bathtub. If it's not too hot, it's very good for our sleep, metabolism, and so on. And hot springs also make our skin smooth. My face is quite dirty now, so I better take a bath every day. In those respects, I wanna live in Japan. This time, I'm going to visit three major hot springs in Okayama Prefecture. Actually, I went out at noon time, so I don't have a time to visit all hot springs today. So I will go to Yubara and Okutsu hot springs today. Then we'll go to Yunogo hot spring tomorrow. It took 1 hour and 15 minutes from Tsuyama city until Yubara hot spring. This place is very photogenic. There are many hotels around here. It's weekday today, but maybe there will be more people on weekends. What is this building? Looks scary a little, but I like this kind of atmosphere. Kinda SF world. Some people said this place might be the one of the model places of Spirited Away. Not officially approved though, the hotel name is same, Aburaya. This hot spring is outside, and anyone from child to senior, woman and man can use this for free. There are two kinds of bathtubs and one of them is too hot to dip body. Another one is comfortable. This spring's temperature is around 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. It's good feeling to be naked in the nature, but everyone can see you. So you can wear swimwear if you want. I didn't wear, of course. There is one more spring which is for free. We can dip our hands and feet and enjoy talking, but the water was too hot to dip. I could dip only 10 seconds. <laughs> Maybe it's good to use here in winter. I wanted to try food around here, but I didn't have a time, so I went ahead to Okutsu Hot Spring. By the way, let me support an anime. I've watched Kono Oto Tomare recently. It's about Japanese harp, koto, and high school students will have their use with koto. The music is so good, so let me use koto music in this video. And please watch it on Netflix or somewhere, so that they can make season 3. If you like romance or youth music, you will like it. Alright, I arrived at the Okutsu Hot Spring Town, and it took 1 hour and a half from Yubara. This place is famous for the Japanese traditional foot washing. You can see the washing irregularly on Sunday morning. Most of day use hot springs were closed. And I wanted to try foot bathing here, but this is also not available. I, I should travel from early morning. Fortunately, I found a hotel which is still open and available for day use, Towaro. It says this is one of the best 100 hot springs in Japan. The atmosphere is very old Japan and a little dark, but I like this. Fortunately, there was no customers, so I could use the hot spring alone. The temperature was so nice, and amenities are also good enough. Ah, very relaxing. I feel I will be beautiful if I take a bath in hot spring every day. It's good feeling staying outside after taking a bath. If it's winter, it's better. So refreshing. 
I haven't eaten anything after breakfast, so let's drop by a convenience store. This is my favorite snack, taiyaki. Let's eat! This taiyaki is a little different from normal one. The dough is croissant, and red bean paste is inside. Oh. Ah, very lummy. Mm. Today, I'm gonna go to Yunogo Hot Spring. Again, I departed afternoon. Mm, I think I had to walk a little longer recently. I forgot. Just got lazy, I guess. And here it is. I came to one of the famous hot spring hotels, Bishunkaku. This place is so luxury. I think famous hot springs have their own pretty character, and it seems Bishunkak has collaborated with Hello Kitty. And look at these vintage movie posters. Wow, I love this place. These toys are gathered by a man, Mizushima-san, for his hobby. Wow. I couldn't bring my camera inside the hot spring, but the bathtub inside was comfortable temperature. And there were two bathtubs outside, and one of them was quite hot, but I could dip myself for a minute. I stayed inside the bath for 30 minutes, and I could relax very well. I bought a Japanese sake, originally made in this hot spring owner. I realized I like Japanese sake this year. And around Yunogo hot spring town, there are many photogenic places. Let's do photo walk. This is a free public food spot. Ah, it's so warm. It's pretty because the shape is foot. Again, I couldn't try restaurants around here because it's too late. So let's go convenience store. Oh, there are some taiyaki. Oh, but I found a pudding. I realized I haven't eaten pudding after coming back to Japan. So let's take it. And let's pour a cup of coffee so that I will not be sleepy. Oh my goodness, this is so tasty. The taste and texture is similar with leche fran, and it's layered with a big pudding, cake, coffee jelly, pudding cream. Wow. Coffee is also good. So, I hope you enjoyed this hot spring tour. Do you wanna try some of them? Let's go in the future. I can guide you now. My favorite is... Mm, it's difficult to choose because every hot spring was good. I guess Yunoga hot spring town is good for me because it's just very photogenic. What do you think? Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. See you again.